Welcome along to Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands, home of famous canals and beautiful architecture, and also to Amsterdam Hockey Club, the venue for the last leg of season five of the FIH Pro League. Two matches for you today, and we start with the penultimate men's match of the competition as Germany take on Great Britain. Germany then get this men's FIH Pro League match underway, attacking the goal away to our right-hand side in the all-white strip. Great Britain, red shirts, blue shorts and socks. And that midfield line finds the split into Ward. Ward with the shot. Danberg with a save. It takes something special to be John Paul Danberg at the moment. Out to uh, Muller. Muller back to Vellum. Vellum first time! Oh, yes! The counter-attack, three on three! I mean, what a start to this game it is, but Vellen, as I said for Sam Ward, just then for Great Britain, Vellen, whatever you can do, I can do even better here. Shot on target in the first couple of minutes, and as he does so frequently in the international game, finds the back of the net. What a quality finish that is. You know, he's made that look so easy. Nice ones. Great Britain down that right-hand side! And there, Riley lays his rope up to hook it in, and Great Britain at the level on the stroke of quarter time. Dan Berg finally beaten. And how many times have we seen that in Phil Roper's international career? Come in, you know, up trumps when his team needs him the most. I mean, that skill there, just to lift the ball over the defender's stick, that's so hard to do in such a tight area and you know not even thinking that's natural instinct to try and use that second touch straight past the goalie I mean the goalie has no chance there unbelievable from Phil Roper their press is actually working quite effectively so far but I think it's for GB now to recognize chance here for Ward Shippley and a penalty stroke as Danberg takes out the Welshman Samford with it. That's a huge aerial from Samford, so effective. And even that take from Sam Ward, he made that look easy. That's not easy to do when you've got a player standing in front of you. And Rupert Shipley there, just using his body so well. Get his body in between the ball and the goalkeeper. And yeah, yeah. only one decision there. So Ward against Danberg. And Ward finishes high to Danberg's left-hand side. And Great Britain have turned this one around from 1-0 down. They now lead 2-1. Bellin with the hit. Oh, and we're unable to stop it on the line. Here's Connor Williamson and Bellin has a second. And Germany are level. There it is, mixing it up a little bit from the Germans. Far Castle. Oh, that's going to fall to Ward. And on the reverse stick, he pulls it just past the far post and Shipley can't drop his left hand fast enough. Crowd count down and that is half time. Stocky's doing his bit to get us away on time. Half time score in Amsterdam. the circle. Injection from Draper. Goes to Berlong. And that has come off the keeper and gone past his left-hand post. His right-hand post, sorry. So Payal on the left, it's Helvig on the right. There's a little sift to the right-hand side. Here is Payal, and there's the goal. Up off Waller. You notice that little shift at the top of the D just as the injection was going to be made, just to give Payet a little bit of more of a central kind of delivery. Gets it off so quickly and just the deflection. 
Final scores, it looks like we're going to a shootout. And Germany, well, well versed in shootouts over here in the Netherlands. There is the final hooter. Eight seconds to take it from the 23 and score. Bellin up against Payne, beautifully done. Connor Williamson for uh, Great Britain. Williamson. Oh, Danberg gets a hand to it, but Williamson squeezes it home. Uh, Hannes Muller scored yesterday and scored twice in Utrecht. And scores again today. Well, Zach Wallace has scored three of his last four attempts. And does very nicely there. Mats Grambush hasn't taken one here in the Netherlands on the, this stop. Here he goes then against Payne. Grambush. Oh, good save from Payne. Kept himself big for long enough. So Lee Morton steps forward. Just in Argentina earlier in the year. Can he cement Great Britain's advantage? No, he can't. Didn't really do enough with it. So Tice Prince for Germany scored yesterday, and scored in Utrecht as well. This with good form and another one for Tice Prince. Phil Roper to make it three or pressure on Roper here because uh, oh he's taken a long way wide again. Didn't seem that confident coming in, and now a chance for Germany to win it. For nothing, he's proven his worth here. Bursa scored in Utrecht. This to win it for Germany, which he does do. And Germany take the bonus point in the shootout. A really entertaining game, ending in a shootout, which, as we've said, I'm not sure Great Britain would have been too disappointed to have that opportunity to practice. But three all in regulation time, Germany. Well, it's the same old story. They win the shootout this time, 4-2.